In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. So it was recently announced that Vince McMahon, the chief creative force behind the WWE, has now retired. Vince carried such a heavy load that no single person could possibly do all that he did. But stepping up to the plate are his own family members, his daughter Stephanie McMahon, and his son-in-law Triple H, aka Paul Levesque. Stephanie will be stepping into the role of co-CEO and Triple H now has arguably the most important job of them all as the chief creative officer, which means he'll be holding the pencil and making all the storyline based decisions moving forward. Kind of ironic considering the relationship between these two started as make believe on WWE programming before turning into a real life love story. These two got married in October of 2003 after having dated for three years, since then they've had had three children, Aurora in 2006, Murphy in 2008, and Vaughn, their youngest, was born in 2010. For almost the entirety of their marriage, these two have shared a gigantic mansion in the relatively small town of Weston, Connecticut, one that's been estimated to be worth a remarkable $30 million. And guess what? This home is only a short walk from the mansion Stephanie spent a lot of her time growing up in, her dad's estate. Just down the road. And while Stephanie might not be living all that far from where she was raised, needless to say, this mansion is a huge step up from Triple H's original home in Bedford, New Hampshire. Hey guys, it's Kara, and if you've ever wondered what the home life is like for wrestling's power couple, then you're about to find out in their house tour, here on Famous Entertainment. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit me up on Instagram to chat, and now let's get into this video. We'll begin by taking a quick look at the original home Triple H bought prior to his relationship with Stephanie. As a native of New Hampshire, having been born in the city of Nashua, it makes sense that the game would lay down roots nearby in the town of Bedford. Of course, wrestlers have a bit of a strange relationship to their homes, and by that, I mean they're generally on the road so often that they don't get to spend all that much time there. And when they do, it often ends up looking like this. In November of 1999, Triple H purchased his first family home for real, a $610,000 house that he shared with his first wife, the female wrestler known as China. According to the Zillow listing for this property, the home was custom built in a contemporary fashion and featured a gated entryway that led up to a house with about 6,300 square feet of living space on more than four acres of land. Not too much else is known about this property, but it's said to boast two fireplaces, a commercial grade kitchen, a five car garage, a tennis court with lights, as well as a heated pool and spa out in the back. Only a year after buying this property, Triple H would fall for the boss's daughter, so he wouldn't wind up spending all that much time living here. That being said, he held onto the property for a number of years and eventually decided to sell it in July 2015 for a reported $1.5 million. Not quite double what he originally paid for it, but close. All right, now that we have a taste of where Triple H spent his time before meeting the love of his life, let's check out Stephanie's former home. Stephanie grew up in her father Vince McMahon's humongous mansion, located not far from where she herself would later live in the city of Greenwich, Connecticut. Vince's rapid rise from a man who was forced to file for bankruptcy in 1976 to becoming a real life billionaire in the 90s is the stuff of legends. He went from owning practically nothing outside of his business to driving everywhere in a limo, flying on private jets, and sailing around the globe on his very own yacht. But easily one of his most expensive possessions is his Hurlingham Drive mansion that at the time he moved in was estimated to be worth close to $25 million. Vince would name this place Conyers Farm and the residence boasts two large white gates that sit at the offset of a long driveway that leads to the front of the house where there's a front yard that's shaded by a ton of foliage. Every time Stephanie arrived home as a youngster, she was greeted by a massive fountain out front and a huge garage. As for the house itself, it's said to be a three-story mansion that boasts an epic nine bathrooms as well as a gym and multiple guest rooms. 
Meanwhile, out back, there's not one, but two large gardens on either side of an exterior corridor, and one of them includes a swimming pool. Situated on that more than 10 acres of land, Stephanie's former home also boasts a massive conservatory area, which no doubt was a great deal of fun for her to explore when she was younger. As for what the interior is like, well, that's a pretty closely guarded secret, but I can tell you a couple of things. For one, somewhere in this house, Vince keeps an epic sized portrait of himself hanging on the walls, just so he can sit underneath it at night and read. Speaking of self-obsession, the other thing we know about Vinnie Mac is that he's usually in his home gym working out well into the early hours of the morning, all before getting up bright and early at 7 a.m. ready to talk business. At least that was his routine until recently. We'll have to see how retirement winds up suiting him. Of course, if he ever gets the itch to start traveling, he could easily sell this place and go anywhere in the world with the reported $40 million his home is now worth. Then again, the best thing about retirement is getting to be able to spend more time with your family. And lucky Vince, his daughter, son-in-law, and three grandkids live within walking distance just down the street. Unsurprisingly, Triple H and Stephanie McMahon's family home shares a lot in common with Vince's. It's a huge property that boasts an outdoor swimming pool, a private gated entrance, six bedrooms, and even a sauna to relax in after a hard day's workout in their basement gym. This property is said to be worth $30 million, and much like everyone else in their profession, Triple H and Stephanie don't get to spend nearly enough time here, but when they do, they have a pretty solid schedule. For one thing, they love to prep their meals for the entire week in what's no doubt a well-equipped kitchen. I might not have many pictures to show you of this space, but what I can do is let you take a look at one week's worth of meals that Steph and Triple H prepared for their busy work week ahead. When he's done bulking up on his protein, Triple H likes to put his kids to bed and then head down to his basement where he's installed a fully equipped home gym that, much like his father-in-law, he utilizes at early hours of the morning to ensure that he gets the necessary pump in to keep his immense size. From cardio machines to customized Gorilla kettlebells and a fully stacked set of weights that tops off at 140 pounds, it's a basement gym that workout enthusiasts would practically do anything to own themselves. And to help facilitate these workouts, Triple H and Steph will occasionally have their personal trainer, Joe DeFranco, drive to their home in the wee hours from his own place, which is over an hour away. Despite such a crazy schedule, Triple H and Stephanie somehow find time to hang out with their kids and their two mastiffs, Andre and Attila. Stephanie has been a fan of this type of dog since she was a child as Vince used to own one himself back in the day. Once she got one of her own to share with Triple H, they named their first one after their former backstage best friend, the late Andre the Giant. Meanwhile, out in their massive backyard, these two have also added a ton of features for their kids. Not only do they have a large jungle gym set up out here, they installed a trampoline, which is basically like having a more bouncy version of a wrestling ring. Remember kids, don't try this at home unless of course your parents basically run the WWE. The most practical thing about this family home is that it's only about a 30 minute drive from the WWE headquarters in Stanford, Connecticut. And with the recent promotions these two have scored, I'm sure they'll be spending more time there than ever. At least they have a private jet too to make things even easier. Well, there you have it, the epic mansions of this WWE power couple, and I think it's no less than we'd expect from them. After watching their house tour, what did you think about Triple H and Stephanie's home? Be sure to let me know in the comments as well as who we should feature next. Thanks for watching, hit that subscribe button if you haven't, follow me on Instagram to chat, and I'll see you all in another video. Bye!